Hello Galaxy, I'm Chris Perillo, and you can ask me anything. I do this once a week. Ask me a question, I answer it. In fact, now I guess I'm doing it twice a week. I'm answering a tech question for free. Every week, head over to the Locker Gnome YouTube channel. You remember that? It's got like 32,000 subscribers in it. Uh, this week, for free, I answered uh, the question, what do I think about Android Oreo? So uh, check that out. I'll put the link in the video description. Anything I talk about, I'll, I'll put links for in the video description so you don't have to like write anything down. Uh, ask me a question. I'll answer it. I've got a good question this week that I'll dive into. Why does it seem that I like Star Wars or love Star Wars more than technology? Hmm. I'll dive into answering the question after I let you know that I've actually answered at least 10 other questions uh, for the greater community. For those who support me on chrisperillo.com, I've shared this tech news is the stuff made of nightmares, how tech has actually made life more difficult, how Google can help save lives, why you should never buy these gadgets, and here's some tech that I actually get excited about. Those five things, chrisperillo.com. You can get them right now as well as the other exclusives. If you head over to creatoradvocate.com, you can get more of my professional advice if you happen to be an entrepreneur or interested in business. Where should you blog was one of the things I shared, my advice. How to deal with internet comments. How to easily create your own royalty-free music for free. Should you set up different channels and accounts? And how frequently should you share in social media? So 10 bits of advice shared you know, to the general world for anybody who's interested in my advice. And you may very well be because you're here to ask me anything. Your question may be answered next week. Uh, so why does it seem that I love Star Wars more than tech? Well, maybe it's because I do. Technology hasn't been in my life for, for all that long compared to Star Wars. I mean, you may remember uh, the story that I've related several times over. If you believe you know me, you could probably tell me when it all started. It started with a Star Wars figure as a kid. You remember the Star Wars figure? Now I'm testing you. I'm asking you uh, a question. Do you remember my first Star Wars figure and how I fell in love with it? Even if you don't know, it's not that difficult to discover <laughs> what that might be. So, uh, you know, I, I feel that, you know, it's, it's definitely been a part of my life in terms of something that I've enjoyed and loved for a lot longer than I might have known tech. And I, I don't know if I've ever loved technology at the same level as, as I might have uh, 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 Star Wars. In fact, I would never e even claim that, that I've ever loved technology. I've um, been enamored by it, I guess. No, that's not accurate either. Uh, I gotta be honest with you. And you, you, you know, That's all I got. Like, if I'm not honest with you, why would you even bother listening to me about anything? Um, yeah, enamored is definitely not the right word. I, I'm more interested in what technology does, not for what it is. Like, you could present me, like, a, a gadget, and I think you know how I feel about most gadgets, they're junk. Um, and I'm largely ambivalent. I mean, for years, I, I would go to, uh, you know, industry events and kind of be underwhelmed. Like, I don't understand why people are getting excited about this. It's not that exciting to me. And that's, that's always been the case. Uh, you know, I, I just feel, though, if you set something in front of me that was Star Wars, I would get excited. So what does that tell you? Like, that, that's just my initial response. That's my reaction. Um, you know, there's certain things that, that, that technology enables or processes or, or experiences that technology enables, and that excites me. But, uh, you know, it, it, just having tech in, integrated in something is not something that I love. In fact, it's something that I've largely avoided over the past few years and have been happier for it. I'm happier with less tech in my life. Um, and I know a lot of people, you know, may be laboring under a delusion that, I actually care about technology. I, I don't. I care about you. I care about how technology works. I want it to be better. But technology to me, as I've mentioned how many times over, you can you can say this for me now. Technology is not a destination. It's an enabler. I, I, I'm looking at what it does. Like I, I'm impressed by what someone can do with that, not just what it is. But with Star Wars, they don't have to do anything with it. It's just, to me... Amazing. I, 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 I love that. Uh, you know, I, I revel in that fandom. If I had a core fandom, that, that was it. And, you know, over time, as I found myself just kind of waking up to a realization that most of the technology that's offered to consumers, it, it feels half-assed, it feels watered down, it feels like an incomplete solution, uh, the, the software is a lackluster experience, the hardware is junky to begin with, uh, I, I just got tired of... of of looking at that, and, and, and even I never even really talked about it to begin with. If you look back at the history of, of anything that I've done online, 
professionally, uh, it was always the software that trip, uh, tripped my trigger. Again, I, I sound so incredibly repetitive, I, I know, but even in saying this, I know a lot of people who would want to hear the answer aren't listening because they hear the word Star Wars and they're suddenly turned off. But you know, it's not like I get upset at you if I ask you a question and you provide me an answer. You ask me the question, I'm giving you an answer. I'm being honest, I'm being direct, I'm being forthcoming. And if you can't handle the truth, that's not my problem. I'm not sitting here telling you that you should love Star Wars more than tech because that's not fair. Any more than it would be fair for me to do that. It's like choosing between two foods. Which food do you love more if you were given a choice? Uh, clearly, it would be like me <laughs> comparing cooked carrots, which I can't stand, uh, to, let's say, um, a bowl of cashews. I would absolutely go to the bowl of cashews every single time and can. They, they, they would both be vegan choices. Uh, but uh, I would eat the carrots... The cooked carrots, specifically, if I had to. It is nutrition. It's just I don't enjoy them. Uh, they serve a purpose, and that is to keep me from being hungry, you know, to get the energy that I might need. And that, to me, is technology. Technology is a bowl of cooked carrots, which I'm more inclined to do this, too. Or, like, wait until the last minute. I'm like, eh, is there anything else? Uh, I could do it, but I, I don't know if I could, I don't know if it would stay down. I would have this gag reflex. And sometimes I have the same gag reflex with technology. If you've seen any one of my gadget reviews, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. It's always funny to me when someone comes along and says I talk too much. I'm like, do you, do you know me at all? <laughs> like, that's what I do. I just love talking. I love interacting. I love discussing. Um... But yeah, it's, it's, uh, to me, it's not even a question. I mean, it's a, it's a valid question. Why does it seem? It seems that way because it is. Uh, Star Wars is just something that I can't rip out of my childhood, and technology may have played a role, but anymore, it's, it's, it's there, but it doesn't get me excited. I'm not going to apologize for that. If, if I said that, Already, I, I apologize for that because I don't want to repeat myself even in presenting the case and answering these questions, which I believe are valid questions. Uh, and, and, you know, I've, I've had a great degree of experience in understanding the consumer electronics industry greater than most to be able to call the ball the way that I do. And I've been proven right time and time again. So it's not that I, I don't understand it. I do understand it at a deeper level than most so-called techies do. Uh, but Star Wars, I just love. I, I, I feel that I don't even know everything about Star Wars and just love it at such a level. And even if I did know everything, I would still love it more. It's just a part of me now. It's a part of my, uh, just being. I mean, the fact that I would name, uh, or opt to name our daughter after my mother, after my wife, Diana, after my mother-in-law, uh, Diana's uh, mother, uh, we named our daughter after the mothers in our family. It just so happened to work that the letters lined up to be J-E-D-I. <laughs> believe that or believe that or not, that's how it happened. I mean, it's it's funny, but it's true. We named her after the mothers, and her the mother's initials are J-E-D-I. But that to me is just that much more special. Uh, it's m that much more personal. I can't imagine my life uh, without Jedi in it. I can't imagine my life without some bit of Star Wars in it. I can't, and I, I, I feel I've, I've always been that way. Uh, I, I feel that it's, it's, uh, it's something that I'm excited to continue to explore with my daughter as she begins to explore the world. Uh, Star Wars has amazing uh, uh, um, educational opportunities within it. In fact, uh, uh, Little Bits uh, was a, a previous sponsor, but they've now got an like, electronics kit, like a build-your-own R2-D2. Uh, so I, I don't know what that's going to be or if we're going to be able to get a, a handle on it, but that's a nice way to introduce Jedi to robotics. Uh, I believe I, I believe in STEM and, 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 and empowering her with what technology can do, not for what it is. Uh, you know, uh, that's, you know, for, to, to further my point, um, I, I just, I see these two things as completely different, and I would rather spend my waking hours being happy than being mired in nothing but a cacophony of uselessness, which is the greater realm of consumer electronics devices. And there are exceptions to the rule, like <laughs> my Spiro BB-8 <laughs> being one of them. Man, they did such a good job with that. I liked it, not just because it works, but because it looks great. Uh, I, I think uh, Spiro was made for that product, and they made the product. They made it to 
perfect it, it, as far as I'm concerned, but not because it was technology, but because it was Star Wars that had technology in it. Uh, I do have good news. If you check the uh, video description or if you've been following me in social for the last week or so, I've recently uh, effectively adopted a Star Wars community. Um, we've got, uh, th no, it's not 38,000, 48,000, give or take, 48,000 uh, followers who are Star Wars fans on Twitter. 2% of them fake accounts, 98% legit. We're getting uh, great engagement on Twitter. Star Wars Radar. I, I apologize for not mentioning this at the beginning of the video, but honestly, if you weren't a Star Wars fan, I, I doubt you would have even made it this far. Um, but Star Wars Radar is the account that you can now follow on Twitter with 48,000 other people. I also took that uh, handle and, and brought it to other uh, social platforms, uh, the, the ones that people are using, Instagram and, and, and Facebook, and I even set up Pinterest for some reason. Um, uh, where else? Oh, YouTube. Yeah, so uh, the Star Wars Radar channel exists. I'm going to be putting videos probably daily in there. There's a lot of Star Wars for me to talk about. Uh, set up Periscope, so I'm doing live streams there. Even put up a Twitch account. Don't know if I'm going to do an IRL in Twitch with Star Wars there. But uh, I, I'm just excited to explore the, the, the possibilities of growing a Star Wars community separate from Chris Perillo. It's just a part of Chris Perillo. But I have a dedicated community. So... For anybody to say, well, you know, you should you should look at technology because that's why people come to you. Well, now I got 48,000 people who disagree. Uh, so feel free to follow Star Wars Radar if you're interested in Star Wars. If not, uh, that's okay. Ask me another question. Um, I do want to, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, answer a tech, an absolute tech question every week in the Locker Gnome Tech channel on YouTube. Um, happy to do that. Uh, for free. Don't worry about it. Not everything is, is just for those who are able to support me. Uh, but the, uh, uh, in, in, in a certain capacity, not to say that you don't. But uh, uh, yeah, I, you know, in, in Chris Perillo land here, uh, you know, I, 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 I'd be fine in answering tech questions, but I may also answer uh, more Chris Perillo uh, suited questions because there there are many facets to me. I'm interested in more than just one thing, and, and I hope to be able to move that conversation forward. Uh, please ask me anything. I mean, if you want to dictate the future of the channel, if you think that what I do is horrible and I need to do something that you want me to do, the way to control your destiny is to control my destiny and ask me anything. I love you. I appreciate you, and may the force be with you.